The Aries is Rep's biggest release this year, which is an impressive feat because they've had a huge lineup with their open trap bar, Athena, safety squat bar, Oculus, AB4100, and the list goes on. But this, this right here is the pinnacle. And in my opinion, this is a game changer for home gyms. A functional trainer with a built-in lap pull down and low row that fits within your rack. I've said before, a power rack is the centerpiece of your gym. Well, with this, your rack is your gym. Now, Rep is really promising the world with the Aries. With six attachment points, two at the top for your lap pull down, two at the bottom for your low row, and two at the front for your functional trainer, they're attempting to integrate multiple large, expensive machines into any configuration of your existing PR4000 or 5000 version two. And you can get this at whatever rack depth rep offers. So you can get a four post like I've got here, essentially a half rack, which we'll talk about how it works in this configuration. And we'll also cover how different it would be in a six post. And the Aries offers all of this without really expanding the footprint of your rack. That on paper is insane, but we're going in depth to see how well it's been pulled off. And as the title says, I told Winnie that if it's as good as my $8,000 life fitness commercial functional trainer, that I'd sell that thing, which technically I bought used at well under half that. But anyway, that's what I'm putting the Aries up against. And as you could probably tell from the title, this thing is pretty good, even if there are some trade-offs, which we'll cover as they come up in this review. And as we go, I'll also try to address all the things you asked us about this on our Instagram. Now, some issues were bound to come up as you're adding a ton of versatility and intricacy into an existing rack system. But really, my biggest issue with the Aries is where we placed it, because that creepy face in the wall is always staring at me. But even with a few actual issues, it's not hard to see why you might want this, as there's two main problems with home gyms. One, money, and this isn't going to help you there, and two, space. And that's where the true strength of the Aries is, because not only are you getting a lot of functionality, but with this, it's still very compact and essentially takes up no extra space in the back of your rack. Now, before we get too far into this, if you're thinking, why put a half rack next to your six post across from your other half rack? Listen, like the rest of my family, we're not very good businessmen. So when I ask for you to use those affiliate links and you're thinking, Help. this guy, rep sent him this thing. Okay, good point, but this wasn't all free and running this channel is very expensive. So if you enjoy our content and want me to keep making it, you'll want to use those links. Before we get into what it does and doesn't do well, we need to talk about the assembly. There's a lot of parts and pieces to this thing, and there's a reason other companies haven't pulled this off yet. It's a bit of a feat of engineering, which really means it's awful to assemble. I've read on Facebook people saying they put it together alone in four hours, but it's Facebook, so make sure you have a friend, even if you might not have them afterwards. I think the process was summarized best by my friend Austin, who helped me put it together when four hours in, he randomly just said, I'm not having fun. So I'm not gonna run audio here because I'd like to actually keep the channel, but he's right, it wasn't fun, but that doesn't mean there weren't some entertaining parts. It took us about five and a half hours total, but we did spend a good chunk of time rearranging my rep rogue Frankenstein section here. It's not the most difficult thing ever to assemble and rep did make an assembly video or you could use the paper instructions, but you'll probably break down over time and your excitement and energy will give out. Once it's done though, I think you'll be very happy with this. Just make sure to assemble in its forever spot because you're never gonna move it, as I was told by everyone that came in during installation. Actually, I was told if I move houses, this thing's not coming with me. Let's start with how well it does as a functional trainer and get right into the first thought people are gonna have. Flies were the first exercise I compared between the Aries and my commercial trainer, and I went back and forth between them way too many times. 
And I did this for every exercise, but specifically with flies because I knew people were gonna argue with me in the comments. Big surprise there. But I'm telling you, and I'm willing to bet that most people, if blindfolded, wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Sure, my life fitness unit is maybe a little bit smoother and it is wider, but at six feet tall with a wingspan that reminds me of the old days when I was in the NBA arena watching the games, I have no issues with the width and find it works well for every exercise you do on a trainer. Because we often work out with multiple people, we normally have two people on our cable machine at the same time one on either side or stack, which allows us to maximize our space and save time. Luckily, the Aries is able to replicate that and even improve upon that since the weight stack is heavier. Now, I can't cover every exercise we tried, but overall it performed much better than I expected. Is a dedicated machine better? Sure, but you're not gonna find another package that delivers what this does. You adjust the height of this trainer section by moving these trolleys up and down and the pulleys can actually swivel just a little bit over 180 degrees, which allows for more versatility versus something like Rogue Slinger where it's a stationary pulley. The trolleys themselves are effortless to adjust with just one hand and the pop pin there locks in easily. These are actually lined with plastic on the inside, which is supposed to save the finish on your rack, though I do wonder if after years of use, you'll see some wear. The pop pin itself though is definitely going to leave marks on the side of your rack, and there's not much you're gonna be able to do about that. So for someone like me who doesn't lift and just wants things to look pretty, it could be an issue. One of the nice touches on the trolley, and there's a lot throughout the entire unit, but on the trolley, you can see the laser cut numbers through the actual trolley indicating what height you're at, which helps keep set up quick. Maybe that doesn't sound like much, but on my life fitness trainer, I'm constantly squinting, trying to figure out what height the other side is at, and that one doesn't have half the holes this does. I really feel like I'm missing a joke somewhere in there. Where I'm not missing any jokes though is on these Fisher Price handles, which are terrible and not remotely close to the quality of the rest of the Aries. I did reach out to Rep though about these because in their Aries video, they showed a different pair of handles, but said those wouldn't be the ones included with the Aries and then we got this. They told me they're prioritizing replacement handles for these and are also prioritizing the different uh, handle options for their open trap bar that we talked about when we reviewed that bar. So while Rep acknowledges these suck and I appreciate them sending something rather than hold up the entire process, why not just package the Aries with their pro handles? Because the alternative is me using my rogue handles for every B-roll, which honestly has to sting a bit. Next, let's talk about how it works as a lat pull down because it'll allow us to talk about these dual 260 pound weight stacks or 310 pounds if you upgrade them, which is what I have. And I'm sure someone's gonna ask, why do you have the stack upgrade if you can't lift that much weight? And listen, uh, that's, that's actually a pretty good point. But anyway, the Aries has a two to one pulley ratio. So with each side, you're effectively getting anywhere from 10 to 130 pounds in five pound increments. Though with the four included adder weights, you're able to micro load one and a quarter or two and a half pounds per stack. And with the upgraded stack, you'd push that weight up to 155 pounds each. Since the stacks function separately, you can do all types of alternating unilateral work or with the lap pull down or low row, you can easily link the sides to combine the stacks, giving you 260 pounds total weight to work with or up to 310 pounds with the upgrade, which would allow you creative types to think of all kinds of ways to use this for really heavy exercises. All you have to do is use the included chrome connector on the lap pull down or the low row bar for the low row, which is awkwardly back here. And we'll talk more about this when we get to that section. But to put those numbers into perspective, 
My Life Fitness unit has dual 390 pound stacks, but with a four to one ratio, it provides less than 100 pounds of weight per side, which means it's getting maxed out constantly. The included hard chrome lat pull down with its medium depth knurling is pretty well done and it feels like it fits in with the high build quality of the rest of the Aries. It doesn't quite compete with my stainless steel Rogue lap bar, but if you have other attachments from Rep or from other companies, it doesn't matter. They'll all work with the Aries, but using them can be a little bit awkward at times. What I mean by that is if you're putting other attachments you already own onto the banana connector and those attachments need to rotate to be oriented correctly, sometimes you're going to have to play a little bit of a game of carabiner centipede to allow them to. Luckily, Rep includes so many carabiners with this thing, it's not really an issue, just something to note. And if you do purchase Rep's Pro Series attachments, they'll have built-in swivels, so it won't be a problem. As for how well the actual lat pull down works, like with all the other pulleys on the Aries, it's very smooth, whether being used individually or with the stacks combined though. And this happens with a lot of lat pull downs because they're up so high. As the weight you're pulling starts outweighing you, things can get entertaining. <laughs> Now, it is a little tighter than I'm used to, what with having all that machinery between my legs, but overall it works very well as long as you have some leg rollers to brace you. And for as much as I have in my home gym, I haven't been able to do heavy lap pull downs in years. And this is a big win for me over my other functional trainer. Also, the nice thing about not having a permanent seat in the way is there's nothing in your way if you want to use that middle section for other exercises. As I mentioned before, there are some trade-offs with creating such a compact unit. And as Rep admits in their own video, you can't set up against the Aries for incline bench. Now, that didn't stop me from trying, but they were right. Though I am happy to admit, this is the only time I found a purpose in having a dozen or so adjustable benches, even if I really only needed one to figure out what I've already been told. Of course, if you have a six post rack and spotter arms, it's not a problem as you can just incline bench outside the rack. But with a four post, it's not gonna happen. Most other things work well though, and we tried a lot as we've been using this as a half rack and it's worked great for overhead press, pin presses, all kinds of squats, rack pulls, and seriously, a lot. And though I'm gonna go off a little bit right now on things we found issues with, I have to emphasize it took me weeks of trying to find the few flaws I could. The various issues we did find do depend on how you build your Aries. So, here goes. With a six post, you're not gonna wanna deadlift inside your rack since these cables run along the floor on the side of your rack. You also can't have a spotter back here for bench unless they literally have no cake. Though with a six post, just like with incline bench, you can move to the front of the rack and use spotter arms. With a four post, you can't use a safety squat bar because the handles are gonna bump into the guide rods especially if they're long handles. Also, you can't squat facing out because even if you're not packing a bakery like all the members of the Gluck family, the Aries is gonna get a little touchy with your backside. With a six post though, you can make it work by moving the trolleys downward so that the cables aren't in the way of the J-cups and put the bar on the inside of the post. Then you'd be squatting on the inside of the rack facing outside. It sounds confusing, but that's just because I explain things like a two-year-old, it's not that difficult. Last note here before we move on, and I realize packing all the limitations of the system into one section maybe isn't the best way to explain how great it is, but here we are. If you notice on mine how the lap pull-down bar up top gets in the way of the cables, they're already working on a fix for that, and it's not an issue with the six post because that middle section is wide open. The low row is pretty good, it moves smoothly and functions fine, but the pulleys are a little low in my opinion since when the stacks are linked, you have to sit with your legs out and kind of flat to keep your knees from getting in the way of the bar. And also the floor is kind of cold on my butt sometimes and this mass monster can take a while to heat back up. 
You also pretty much have to always keep the foot plate in as far as possible because otherwise when linked with the low bar, your feet just kind of are in the way. Just like with the lat pull down, it can be a little bit clunky to set up if you're using the low bar to connect to another bar like a V handle or a mag grip since you may have to play the carabiner train game to get them to rotate properly. Now, using the stack separately work really well as the connecting bar isn't as much of an issue. Either way, this thing does create massive potential with how heavy those stacks are, both individually and combined. The great thing about the Aries is you're not limited in your rack configuration with this thing as they very smartly designed it to work with any existing PR4000 and version 2 of the 5000 no matter the rack depth or height, though the back depth here does have to be 16 inches. And with the Aries Builder, which is very well done, you can window shop your way through a ton of configurations. Now, there are some subtle differences between the PR4000 and 5000 versions, but the only real difference between the two is with the 4000, the trolley handle runs along the back side instead of out on the side because the 4000 doesn't have as many holes along the side of the upright. And with the 4000, you may also have to cross uh, or swap out your rear cross member if they don't have vertical holes for the cables to travel up through. Now this thing isn't cheap. The price of just the Aries alone, if you already have a rack, is $2,800. And for a full half rack, that doesn't sound right, for a half rack four post build like this, it'll run you just under 3,800 with some sandwich J cups included. And technically a four post should really be bolted down or have front stabilizers, which isn't a recommendation I'd mess with because I'm not sure I'd win that race against gravity if I was wrong. Even if all of this added weight does add a ton of stability to your rack. Now, I can see people arguing the price as a combo like the Bells of Steel Functional Trainer and their lap pull-down low row machine would be cheaper, which we've got reviews coming up for, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those. But I'd argue you won't be saving the space this does, and you'd still have to factor in the price of a rack. But I'm not here to defend their price point, so you're really going to have to weigh the functionality of the Aries and its space savings against that price. You could also wait to see what they come up with for a plate loaded version of this which they're working on but no word on what that may look like or when it'll come out. Of course Rep also has the Athena coming up which is their side mounted functional trainer but it doesn't have as large of a weight stack though it does have integrated band pegs but it's also not a lat pull down in low row like this though it does leave the back wide open which is something I appreciate. I've maybe sounded a bit harsh on these things at times, but high prices breed high expectations. And I do think the Aries is a hell of an accomplishment for a home gym, as I haven't seen this level of engineering in a home gym product. Not only that, but the build quality is very high on this, from the aluminum pulleys to the knurling on the trolley handles and the various touches throughout, like the magnetized selector pin, which is nice because not only does it easily insert into whichever hole you decide, it also stays there. They clearly did a ton of R&D on this, and there's a lot going on, but everything still fits together well, and more importantly, doesn't intrude much onto the functionality of your rack while adding a ton of versatility to it. With the Aries, you're able to do so much in an area you already have taken up by your rack, which in my opinion is the ultimate home gym solution. More capability without using up more space. After weeks of going back and forth between this and my life fitness functional trainer, I really see no point in keeping that and have zero reservations about selling it because of this. With the Aries, you're adding a really good functional trainer, lap pull down, and low row onto your rack, and that's incredible. And this is possibly the best thing Rep has ever created. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to help us on the algorithm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.